I get you anything? Um, I'm waiting for someone. I'll get something later. Oh, okay. So is there like a convention or a, a <laughs> carnival or something this weekend? I haven't realized. No, I'm just doing this for a bet. Something silly. Okay, uh, cool. Well, I hope you win. And in the meantime, I will just give you with our menu. Okay. Okay. Alex? Hi! Yes, I am Alex. Oh, wow. Uh, I know your pictures on your profile are showing you all dressed up, but I didn't expect you to actually show up in costume. Well, I'm glad you like it. I mean, most people when they see me like this, they're like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> are you kidding? I love it. Do you go to a lot of conventions? I mean, I've never seen you and I follow a lot of cosplayers. Actually, um, can I take a picture with you? Cosplaying is kind of the whole point of my Instagram, so that'd be really cool. Okay, sure. I'm just gonna... <clears throat> so you dress like that all the time? Uh, well, I kind of have to wear a uniform for my work. It's a bit undercover. But the rest of the time... But the rest of the time, this is me. <gasps> that is so cool. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't made it anywhere online. It's so weird. I mean, I end up finding every person who dresses up in costume every day somehow on social medias. Like, do you know there's a Jack Sparrow walking the streets of Edinburgh in Scotland? And of course, Spider-Man here. And... Well, I don't really follow social media very much. Do you always wear the same costume? Oh my goodness, no way. There's so many different options for me to choose from. I mean, I've got so many costumes at home, you wouldn't even believe it. I really like to mix and match though. Yesterday, I was part superhero, part warrior princess. <laughs> I believe it. Don't even worry. What about you? I mean, do you cosplay since you like it so much? Nah, I just like getting my photos taken with as many cosplayers as I can. Do you have any cool stories related to your being a superhero? Um, coffees. Let me get some coffees first. Give me a minute to think about it. How do you like yours? Tea for me, please. Any will do. Okay. Surprise me. Okay. Hey. So are you winning the bet? No, I'm definitely not. You think that if you dress crazy or something, people get scared away, but some people really like it. <laughs> what can I get you? Uh, two teas and two muffins. Thanks. Just one. I'll do a balancing act. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. You know, a superhero has to practice mundane tasks. <sighs> Thank you, my hero. So. I thought about a really good one. Oh. So there's a mafia lord in my neighborhood. He loves to send his minions to my house to steal my food and trash my house. Wait, what, your food? Yeah, I know. Especially freshly baked muffins. A mafia lord. A mafia lord. Anyway, he keeps sending his minions over and over to my house. So one day, I decided to hide in my closet and wait for them. And then I caught one. Are you talking about? No, no, wait, let me finish. So listen, I caught one and he was so scared that he peed himself. Well, then he pooed all over my bed and then ran all over the place trying to find a way out. But whatever. Eventually, I cornered him and then I smacked him on the head. <laughs> it was so funny. I let him go because I wanted him to go back and report to his boss that my house is no longer his domain. Are you talking about a mouse? No, I'm talking about something so much more ferocious and so much more rabbit. I'm talking about a squirrel. The minion squirrels that work for the most ferocious, vicious, white-haired, red-eyed godfather. 
<laughs> You're too much. I think we were meant to meet. You know, I've always wanted to date a cosplayer that would go to Comic Cons with me. This is so perfect. Wait. What? No. Oh shit, I'm sorry. These calls. Gotta run. It's your turn. Hurry up. Let's go on Tori. Oh my gosh, she just messed up at work again. If she doesn't get her act together, she's gonna get fired. It's a bit harsh. I'm sorry, it's not my fault I'm being rude. <laughs> nice. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, let's talk about that date you just had. So what happened? But please tell me you didn't do anything in my sister's costume. God, no. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I mean, I'm not gonna throw myself at the first random person I meet, let alone on the first date. It's not like you haven't known me since I was 14. Fair point. So what happened? What happened was the same thing that happened with Esther in junior high. The moment they get to know you a little bit better, they practically want to move in with you. There's not a lesbian you hold you for no reason. Wait, she wants to move in? No, she wanted us to go to Comic Con together. How cute. She could have been Luigi to your Mario, the Robin to your Batman, your money penny. It's okay, okay, I get it. Did you tell her at least? Tell her what? I've never even been to Comic-Con. You don't know anything about superheroes. Well, I was in character, so no. And I may have skedaddled before we had a chance. Mm. Well, I guess that's okay. Maybe this whole superhero costume thing wasn't the best idea of Charlie's. Actually, it was Max's idea. And are you kidding? I loved it. I thought you said that I you said were... that women were clingy. I didn't say that I didn't have fun. I mean... This whole dating game thing that they cooked up for me, it's really fun. I mean, I get to go out there and I don't have to be nervous and, you know, I get to be this person that nobody even knows. It's pretty awesome. Well, I guess it's a start if it's actually making you going out there. I mean, it's been two long years. Two long years of you feeling guilty for taking Max away from me? Here we go. All right, fine. I'm not gonna go there. But, if it helps to take your guilt just a little bit off, I guess I'm glad. You said you were gonna bring it up again. Hey, you know that I stopped being mad at you a long time ago, right? I mean, I just like to tease you. It's part of our history. Yeah, I know. You know, I never really got to go on these dates. I went from being with Esther to Max to marrying Max and then divorcing Max. So discovering this whole new world, it's pretty fun. And I'm happy for you, but Alex, mm -hmm. don't just take this all as a game. Like actually keep your head and your heart open, you know, should something real come along. Because trust me, this dating game, it gets real old real fast. It's kind of a little bit like this game. This game between us has been going on a long time. Oh, Scrabble does take a real long time. I don't think that's a word. Oh, that is definitely not a word. What is W-D-O-D? That's wood. Oh, wood. Clearly. Hey, I know what I'm working with. <laughs> Appropriate? Okay.